In this video from the studiofiles.com, I'm going to show you how to bounce a mix in Pro Tools LE. Bouncing is one of the fastest ways to export your mix down in a variety of formats, and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to want to start with the selector tool, and then just highlight your song from beginning to end. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to select a little chunk because Pro Tools bounces in real time, so if I did that it'd take forever to show you. So I'm just going to select this. Okay, so once you have what you want highlighted, go to File, Bounce to, Disk, and the Bounce dialog box opens up. For Bounce Source, most of the time you want to keep it as Analog 1 and 2. This is basically what the bounce is going to be monitoring. So if you have all your tracks bust to other places, you'll want to choose those, but Analog 1 and 2 is fine. There's a bunch of different file types to choose from. I have the Music Production Toolkit, so I have the MP3 option, but all these other options will be available if you don't have that. Let's just leave it in Wave for now. I'm going to leave it Stereo Interleave 2. Um, depending on what you're going to do with the file afterwards, whether you're transporting it to another DAW or sending it to a mastering house, you may need to choose some of these options, but we'll leave Stereo Interleave. And I'll leave the resolution and the sample rate the same. Final two options, Convert During or After Bounce. I'm going to choose Convert During. Convert During will very obviously convert the file during the bounce. It's going to take more processing power, and some computers can't handle it, but it'll give you a little bit more accurate bounce. Sometimes it'll also take a little bit longer. If there's nothing wrong with Convert After Bounce, I'm just going to choose Convert During Bounce. And then you hit Bounce. Now it's just going to ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it on the desktop, and we'll save it as Bounce 1. Just a short little bounce there, and it converted during, and now we're done. So if you hit F11 to get out of Pro Tools, you'll notice that Bounce 1 is here on the desktop. And that's probably the quickest way to bounce files out of Pro Tools LE.